Welcome to Deep Dive Defense. Over here we give rare insights you won't hear elsewhere. Today's video focuses on the air defense systems that China unveiled during its September 2025 Victory Day Parade. These defensive systems do not include missile defenses and systems designed to counter space assets. Those are the topic of a separate video. This video is the fourth in a series covering the historic 2025 parade. The previous videos covered the strategic and tactical nuclear delivery systems, the anti-ship weapons and the ballistic missile defenses that China revealed to the world for the first time. Most of the surface-to-air missile systems shown were presented within their launch tubes and containers, which prevented observers from seeing the actual missiles and their specific features. In this video, we will rank and explain each of the new air defense systems that were shown. This ranking is subjective and particularly challenging due to the mentioned fact that most of the missiles are not visible inside their launch tubes. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel in the algorithm. And now, let's start. The system ranked number one is the HQ-9C and its naval variant, the HHQ-9C. Unlike most other interceptors, the HHQ-9C was displayed outside of its launch tube, which revealed important details. The closely related HQ-9C is hence miniaturized evolution of the S-300 derived HQ-9 system from the 1990s. Increased sophistication in its design has allowed this missile to shrink in size, while maintaining the same performance qualities as the HQ-9, which was previously China's primary high-end surface-to-air missile system. This downsizing has enabled the HQ-9C's transporter erector launcher vehicle to carry double the load compared to the launcher for the HQ-9. This means existing HQ-9 TEL can just load the new missile without any significant modification. It increases the magazine depth from 4 to 8 missiles per vehicle. However, this is not the most important difference. The key change from the HQ-9 to the HQ-9C is the addition of lateral impulse thrusters. This system is similar to the technology the United States developed for the Patriot Pac-3 missile and Russia for the S-350. It allows the HQ-9C missile to execute aggressive directional changes during the endgame phase of an engagement. This capability is critical. For instance, at its maximum estimated range of 200 kilometers, when the missile is in a low kinematic state with low energy reserves to perform high G turns to hit a target, the lateral impulse thrusters provide this instant turn capability to enable a successful intercept. Alternatively, these impulse thrusters can be used to engage very high altitude targets like ballistic missiles, at altitudes between 20 and 40 kilometers, where the rear aerodynamic steering fins of the missile have become largely ineffective due to the thin atmosphere. In this scenario, the impulse thrusters allow for drastic course change, and the aerodynamic steering surfaces can then be used for the fine adjustments required to successfully hit the target. This capability is a very significant advancement, and would normally justify an entirely new missile designation, as it makes the interceptor significantly more lethal, and enables a very compact and small missile design that would otherwise run out of energy at its maximum range of 200 kilometers. China's large number of existing HQ-9 batteries will receive this missile upgrade which prepares them for next-generation threats, together with the longer-range, older HQ-9B missile and its 260-kilometer range. The naval variant, the HHQ-9C, even has an added booster stage equipped with thrust vectoring control, which further increases its range without the risk of the spent booster falling onto populated areas. The system ranked number two is the LY-1 laser defense system, a large and unique directed energy weapon designed for both land and naval applications. The LY-1 is believed to be capable of destroying subsonic cruise missiles and may even possess the ability to dazzle the optics of other, more dangerous threats, such as anti-ship ballistic missiles. The key advantage of the LY-1 is its function as a point defense system, meaning it is deployed either directly on the targeted naval vessel or positioned very close to that vessel when it's in its harbor. Laser defense systems inherently suffer from drastically reduced performance as the range to their target increases. However, if the target is approaching the laser itself, because the laser is mounted on the object the threat intends to hit, the engagement becomes significantly easier for the laser system. The amount of energy the laser can put on the target consequently only increases as the target approaches. Therefore, 
the LY-1's role can be best described as that of a bodyguard system, designed to protect a specific high-value asset, such as a destroyer or an aircraft carrier. Since a truck-mounted mobile variant for land use also exists, the system can be deployed to further increase the security of critical installations such as naval bases. Its rumored capability to engage subsonic cruise missiles positions it as the world's most powerful known laser system currently in operational service. And while adverse weather conditions can severely reduce its performance, its solid-state lasers' engagement cycles are limited only by its energy supply, enabling it to strike a large number of targets at a very low cost per shot, since no physical missile interceptor is expended. The system ranked number 3 is the HQ-22A surface-to-air missile system, which serves as China's low-cost, medium-to-long-range air defense system, suited for widespread deployment throughout the country in high quantities. The original HQ-22 was developed as a solution to lower the cost of the high-end, highly mobile HQ-9 surface-to-air missile system. It was intended to act as a replacement for the old Soviet S-75-based HQ-2 missile, which formed the backbone of China's SAM batteries for many decades. Compared to the HQ-2, the HQ-22 is a solid propellant missile with significantly improved range, approximately four times that of the HQ-2. The specific improvements of the HQ-22A over the original HQ-22 are not known, as the missile was only shown inside its hot launch tube. Such differences could range from a relatively simple upgraded guidance system featuring a hybrid passive, semi-active and active radar seeker, to more sophisticated changes. In any case, the appearance of the HQ-22A during the parade demonstrates that it is now China's primary anti-aircraft surface-to-air missile system the official successor to the famous HQ-2. The system ranked number 4 is the HQ-11 short to medium range air defense system. This next generation surface to air missile system is intended to replace the Soviet Tor M1 based HQ-17 in the long term as China's primary system for defense against cruise missiles and precision guided munitions. It is an all-in-one surface to air missile system that carries eight interceptors on a single vehicle which also houses the search and engagement radar. It is a quick reaction surface-to-air missile system effective against low-altitude threats, possessing a notable engagement range of 30 kilometers, and it features no moving parts like turrets or elevating launch mechanism. Instead, it is a static system with a vertical cold launch capability in which only the active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar rotates. This design means it is a defensive system capable of operating over long periods, weeks, and months, almost continuously without risk of mechanical failure, a key capability demonstrated to be of the greatest importance during the war of attrition in Ukraine. The similar systems used there, such as the Panzer and Tor, had both moving turrets and non-ESA engagement radars with single point of failure. This next generation system provides the combined benefits of high reliability, continuous operation, a very low reaction time, and enhanced survivability, with all components of the system mounted on a single off-road capable mobile truck. The system ranked number 5 is the FK-3000 anti-drone missile and anti-air artillery system. This represents a new and unique solution designed to counter one-way attack drone threats through the use of a low-cost miniature interceptor missile. The innovative aspect of the FK-3000 is that a massive quantity of 96 such miniature interceptors are carried on each individual vehicle, a capability which allows it to seriously fend off saturation strikes by such types of drones. While the range of the miniature interceptor is not believed to exceed 5 kilometers, much like the previously mentioned LY-1 laser defense system, the FK-3000's primary role is the protection of high-value objects. This means it is deployed very close to the asset that is being targeted by the one-way attack drones. Consequently, its reduced effective range becomes less of a critical issue. Instead, the small miniature design of the interceptor allows for low-cost, high-quantity volume production, which is essential for winning the economic battle against low-cost one-way attack drones, such as the Iranian Shahed-136, that are used to overwhelm an opponent's defense system. In this context, Often only an economical solution can emerge as the winner. The FK-3000 possesses the specific features required to achieve exactly that. 
its small but sufficient range active electronically scanned array AESA radar allows for multiple simultaneous engagements, and a battery of four FK-3000 vehicles can provide full 360-degree coverage for a protected high-value asset. For situations that do not constitute a saturation attack with many simultaneous incoming targets, an integrated machine gun can be deployed for an even lower-cost neutralization of the one-way attack drones. It is a smart and low-cost solution tailored for the new realities of modern warfare. The system ranked number 6 is the FK-4000 Directed Energy Defense System. This new drone defense system directs concentrated microwave energy towards close-range drone targets, and it is particularly effective against those drones with antennas, as the pulse of microwave energy can lead to the destruction of their internal electronic components. The most famous types of threats in this category are first-person view drones, which are often quadcopters constructed from polymer materials and built with commercial off-the-shelf electronic components that are not hardened against such microwave pulses. This threat spectrum can range from simple first-person view quadcopters to larger, more sophisticated octocopter designs with greater payload capabilities. The FK-4000 is, therefore, a low-cost solution designed to counter high numbers of such low-cost drone threats. It represents the absolute last defensive layer for a high-value object requiring protection. Besides these six systems covered in this video, other systems were also shown for the first time, including two types of smaller laser defense systems, as well as older surface-to-air missile systems previously displayed during parades. Those systems are the HHQ-10 Naval Point Defense Surface-to-Air Missile System and the HQ-16 Medium Range Tactical Surface-to-Air Missile System. Additionally, high-power mobile long-range radars were displayed, but all of these systems would be beyond the scope of this video, which is focused specifically on the new generation of air defense systems that were unveiled. Previous surface-to-air missile systems are being replaced by much more sophisticated evolutions that are capable of handling saturation attacks, a great emphasis is now placed on comprehensive drone defenses, ranging from one-way attack type drones to small first-person view quadcopter types. This sends a clear message to the world that China is fully aware of the latest developments in modern warfare and is now a leader and innovator in the military field. So that's all for today. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. It really makes a difference in the YouTube algorithm and is a great support to the channel. The real enthusiast can become members and given access to exciting membership area material. Thanks for your support and motivation. See you next time.